Hi, I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics. I'm here for you midweek with our Wednesday Rewind. This is going to be our last Wednesday Rewind for 2023. So um, things kind of slow down a little bit here, kind of the end of November and December. So we'll make this the last one and we'll come back again with one of these next year. So I do have a pretty good one for you today. We have 15 fabrics. Um, and quite a few of which are all the one base, so they're all the solid colours. So we're going to give you the whole range of rayon modals will be available at the Wednesday Rewind prices. So rayon modal um, is a really gorgeous fabric to wear. Rayon in general is usually really lovely to wear in the warm weather because it's really nice and cool. This one is really light. What is it? It is 175 GSM. 95% rayon, 5% spandex. But probably the best thing about this fabric is the roll is 180 centimeters wide. So you get a lot of fabric for your dollar with this particular one. I have made myself, it's another Wednesday Rewind, another color block t-shirt from me. Um, I've just made myself a little besties tee in three of the rayon modal colors, just a little cap sleeve, Crop length would be really, really lovely to wear in summer. I did, as I was making this, just cut out another one in plain black as well and make that one up at the same time because I'll get so much wear out of that when the weather gets really warm. So let me show you the colors that we have. The first one is black. And with the black, I'm going to show you the stretch and the drape and all that stuff. Now you can see it looks really see-through like this. It's because it is away from my body that it looks so see-through. However, I would need to be careful with this green. I think what color, actually, that's not true. I'm actually wearing a hot pink bra underneath this and it's not showing through at all. But it is the sort of fabric where you can see lines. You can see the line of my bra underneath. If that was a darker color, it would probably be less obvious, I think. Um, if I put the black in the middle, it would have been less obvious than it being the lightest color that there is in that spot. But yes, in saying that, this green is actually not see-through, as I was about to tell you it is, because this is a hot pink bra that I'm wearing, and you can't see through it. For t-shirts and things like that, it's not going to be see-through. If you were going to make a dress out of it and I don't think it matters what color you might need some sort of a slip for modesty because when you're out in the light and you're walking you would probably be able to see the silhouette of your legs as you're walking there um, on that though this particular fabric has really great stretch um, but it can grow on you during the day if your garment is too heavy so if you are going to make a dress it'll be absolutely amazing to wear but just pop some clear elastic in your shoulder seam and hopefully you've got a waist seam as well and you can pop some clear elastic in there as well just to give it some strength and stop it from growing out too much in the day. Okay, back to the stretch. Okay, so we've got really nice horizontal stretch. Really nice vertical and look at the drape, it's just beautiful. And you can see this t-shirt, it just kind of moves around. It doesn't sit out on me too much this was a thicker fabric it would probably come out here a little bit more but it just drapes really nicely okay so the black we have good old 4000 for your thread that black thread and then for the soft green which is here it's not a huge amount of this one left we have gone 1090 i've just added this one so some of these did have some matching threads, some didn't. Uh, so this one, for example, Smokey, does have a matching thread. That's my bottom color here, um, but I don't like it. So I'm actually gonna take it off. So no matching thread for this. I just found a gray that I had in my stash. It's not a perfect match, um, but I'm okay with it. All right. Smoky. Actually, I'm going to show you something with that one. I'm going to keep that one out. Navy. It's a beautiful navy. This is a really lovely, soft fabric. It's really nice to wear. This one is oatmeal. 
um, oh sorry, I do have a matching thread for navy. Let me go back. 3561 is what we put with that. There is a link to this on the website. And uh, where were we? Oatmeal. Got a bit distracted there, didn't I? Four, one, three. Putting the wrong number on there. Four, one, three for that one. Not perfect. Um, but it is a little bit darker than the fabric, which I think is a good way to go. Okay, Cupid. It's a really bright red, almost has a bit of a coral tinge to it. We've got this one with X0104. Now, Dijon. Beautiful mustard colour. We put this one with 892. And Chantilly, which is a really gorgeous off white. Uh, 4, 000, uh, 1000, sorry, for this one. Yellow, no match for this one, but a very, very sweet yellow. Ballet Pink. Another really sweet colour and I've added 5090. As you can see, it's a little bit darker, but that should be just fine. And last one, New Moon. So we've got a couple of greys here. 1140 is our matching thread here. Okay, now I've kept a couple out. This is New Moon. This is oatmeal. They are very, very similar. This one has a little bit more of a brown tinge to it, um, but I just wanted to show you those together. And then you can see smoky down the bottom there, which is the, the darker gray that we have. So all of these are gray. Um, this one browner, darker, lighter, obviously. So just so you can see those together and how they compare with one another. Okay, so those are our round modals and they are all going to be cheaper on Wednesday for their rewind day. Now I do have a few prints for you as well. So I've just got four prints today. The first one is really, really pretty. So you definitely needed to be reminded about this one. This one is called Margot. It's a double brush poly. Tracy sewed this up and showed you yesterday what she did with it it's a really gorgeous fabric it's like a little paisley print super soft absolutely beautiful to wear really really pretty so double brush poly as we know has really great stretch but it doesn't grow on you during the day so you can feel free to make yourself a maxi dress and it should be the same length at the end of the day as it was at the start okay this one we put with 3356 for your thread and it looks really nice with the navy ponty and some of these rail modals that we have today. So it goes really nicely with Chantilly and we actually already had this one as a match to go with that white in there. And one that I added is the navy round modal which is nice as well. Margot Double Brush Poly. It is gorgeous. It's soft. It's a lovely print that could be casual. It could be fun. It could be business-like. There's lots that you can do with this print. Okay, next, uh, another Double Brush Poly. This one is called Imagine. We all quite like this one and we all kind of saw that it was on this and well, why is it still here? It's actually really pretty. So another double brushed black background, really pretty yellow flowers. They're not too big. Um, so you shouldn't be restricted in what you make because the print isn't huge. It's not tiny, but it's not huge. So again, your stretch. And there is your drape. Now, 4,000 is our thread. And yellow rayon modal goes with this one. 
and it's really sweet with it. Um, or you could go with some white double brush poly, black double brush poly, or black anything would look amazing with it. Or banana double brush poly is another option there. Imagine double brush poly. Okay, now a DTY for you and one of our classic prints. This one is called Robin. Actually gives me some Christmas vibes in the colors. If you're looking for something to make for Christmas day, DTY is really nice to wear. It, it is a poly knit, but it shouldn't get you all hot and sweaty. It should be really nice to wear on a, on a warm day. Who knows what Christmas day is gonna be like yet, but I mean, it's often pretty warm. So this could be an option for you. So DTY is just like double brush poly, but there is no brushing. So it's got really good stretch, really great recovery on its stretch, both ways and really nice drape. So this one we put with thread 1000 and we matched it with ivory, double brush poly, light brown, double brush poly, these nice colors in here. Uh, spice, double brush poly, I like that one. Uh, top modal, these colors in here. And I added Sherby because there are some oranges through here. So I thought that that Sherby might just make them pop a little bit more. All right, so that is Robin in Ivory DTY. Last one for this week's Rewind is a rayon spandex. This one's called Beast of Prey. So it's a nice animal print. Let me show you that print there. It's got some really pretty colors in it actually. It's like a really deep mustard, that background, um, that color in the print there. It's really pretty. So rayon spandex, like rayon modal, probably worse than rayon modal, um, grows on you during the day. Uh, this is like a, the stretch feels a bit spongier than it does with the rayon modal. So it is going to grow on you that little bit more in the day, this one. But that is absolutely fine if you make yourself something that's just top length. You won't have to worry about it growing if it's a lighter weight garment. Um, or if it is something more than a top, just put some clear elastic in the horizontal seams and it should be just fine. Okay, let's see. Really great stretch. Let me get it on the horizontal a bit better. There we go. Really lovely stretch. So lovely and cool to wear on a hot day. Look at that drape. So good. Okay, our thread is 750. Got those background colors. This one didn't have any coordinates. I have added a couple. They're both athletic performance but I thought this mustard athletic performance was quite nice to go in with those colors there. Same with the earthy. Now, I don't know if you can see it. We're coming really close and hope I don't scare you. Uh, I'm actually gonna take it off because this camera just wants to focus on my face. So if my face is in it, then I can't show you this. Let me fold it a little bit so I can show you a bit better. Wow, that was really bad folding skills. Anyway, check it over again and again and hope for the best. Let's see if I can get my face out of this. So there we go. So you can see those little brown dashes in there. It actually looks really nice. This isn't coming up as the truest color right now, um, but it does look really nice with those. This is the earthy athletic performance. Okay, that's everything for Wednesday Rewind. I hope there's something in there that you're going, oh, wow, that's really nice. I can't believe I haven't noticed that one before because that is the whole point of Wednesday Rewind. Um, these are on our website. Um, they're going to be a little bit cheaper for their Wednesday only, so do check those out. We do have them all under the Wednesday Rewind tab at the top of the page. So check them out, see if there's something that you like. Um, Please enter our competition on Facebook if you are a member of Facebook um, and a member of our group. Tag someone else um, who you know who likes to sew and 
a random comment will be the winner of a $25 gift card for the person who comments and for the person that you have tagged. So we just want to spread the word a little bit on what we're doing with Wednesday Rewind. So um, if you don't know anyone else who sews, um, or if you do know someone who sews and they're not in the group, you can either add them to the group if you think they'd like to be part of the group, or you might have seen someone in the group that you find to be a bit of an inspiration. You could just tag them. Um, whatever works for you is absolutely fine. They do need to be a member of the group though to win the prize. Okay, on the website, www.lushfabrics.com.au. Hope there's something here that you love. If not, I'll be here again on Sunday with another video for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.